How's it going everyone? Today's focus is K1 Revelation, Master Law Sector, dealing with champions of Barrier and Unstoppable. We'll be using Stasis here. Super is not very effective versus Barrier champions, but is really effective versus uh, Unstoppable and uh, Ad Clear. Definitely use it for that, don't use it for Barriers. Healing Rift, uh, keep you alive, any movement you want. Melee is always helpful to freeze those unstops or freeze any, any champion you want or any target. Cold snap grenades, we won't be using the grenades as themselves, we'll be charging them into the turrets, which will then allow us to take out actually any champion. Like you take out overloads, you can take out unstops. Uh, you also take out barriers if you have one shooting consistently at the barrier or two of them shooting at the barrier ever so often, and they'll just freeze it all the time, won't be able to do its barriers. So that's kind of nice. Ice flare bolts will give us the extra freezes as we're spreading our uh, shards around or freezing every target, so we want to make sure we freeze as many as we can. Fissure will give us that increased damage from those stasis destructions or defeated frozen targets. Rending will give us that primary ammo, primary damage increase to stasis crystals or frozen targets, so double damage increase. Uh, Durance will give us that slow uh, increased duration, and then you get grenade in grenade energy each time we take damage. Every time we take damage, we can get more turrets active. Uh, Virgilos Curve will be our bread and butter here with, with uh, anti-barrier from our artifact here, which is kind of a nice thing to have. So if it ever, if you're killing a barrier and it still doesn't, it's not fully frozen, then you can always use your, you know, uh, bow here to take care of the barrier, breaking the shield. It won't do the most damage like compared to a wish ender, but it does pretty well. Fusion rifle, take care of unstoppables and rocket to do a lot of our big damage as we need to. Don't forget about restoration ritual. If you have the cold comfort as you get those um, finishers, then you get that extra reloads. You can, you know, do a lot of firing. If you need to, you can probably nuke the boss down pretty quickly. Ozomancies will give us that double charge of cold snap which allow us to really get those turrets effectiveness to be maximized. High resilience keep you alive, high discipline uh, to get more grenade spamming, and high recovery so you can, you can keep yourself alive with your class ability. Recommend two stasis weapon charges as our primary focus. Two dynamos is going to get our super up as much as we can using our class ability. Um, our, our grenades won't be doing the most, our grenades won't be doing killing, it'll be more of like uh, kind of controlling the battlefield for us, letting our primary weapon do most of the work. Two solar resists keep you alive from barriers, and then two bombers so we can have our grenade up all day, every day. Um, you can if you wanted to, you can switch this to proximity ward or proper attraction if you'd like, but most of the time I think bow bomber works way better for uh, stasis. Um, also, stasis doesn't have anything crazy in here, like you won't have any of the orbs. You can use thanatonic tangles if you'd like, um, but semi auto striker works, frenzied stacks works, um, mutual. Uh, munitions doesn't work for it. Uh, element Elemental Embrace does work, but there's really no stasis damage in here. Uh, but it can work for other stasis damage if you need to. So I recommend probably Rapid Fire Ranger or Monochromatic Maestro. But let's go and get right into this. Should be a quick run, shouldn't be that bad. Stasis makes everything really smooth, surface of survivability. So give it a go. And don't forget to check out my other class and subclass builds for this Lost Sector and other Lost Sectors. All right, here we go. Just get our grenades lined up. Our bow set up here. Threw one on the turret. Interesting. So it should be easy to spread these around. Just keep getting kills. I would say if you already have a frozen target, to aim down the sights. Complete altar. Okay, I wasn't even in altar, but all right. We we'll keep ice and everything. Really easy for us. Can keep, we can keep this guy almost permanently frozen, which is a nice bonus. Boom. Well, I really didn't even need anti-barrier, but it's always nice to help. Freeze as many things as possible. Make things make life easier for you. Always aim up when you're shooting the bow also. It will help a lot with, uh, I can throw that on the far side. Nope, I missed. Ooh. Thought I got it with the one shot, but there, I guess not. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you fully aim down the sights or else it doesn't go anywhere. Little random crystal just chilling over there. You're not gonna have the best anti-barrier, so it's okay to 
um, freeze it as much as you can, I would say. Or recommend it to say. There we go. And now what we want to do is we don't have any grenade energy. Which is okay. Is our class ability to get grenade energy? Whoops. We're getting aimed on the sights all the time. It's okay though. So we want to kind of get our grenades shooting everything, freezing everything around. But the more damage we take, uh, the more ability energy we get, so it's okay for stasis. Freeze everything out. Oh. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, we don't have any grenade energy, but we do have a few icicles ready to go. Which is great for us. We can still do as much damage as we wanted to. Oh, look at that dodge. You see that? That was smooth. Make sure we... Oh, uh, no. Oh, he froze. Sweet. Froze mid-shield cast, which is okay. Uh, once we kill enough mobs here, we don't have any abilities to freeze at the moment. We can use our you know, fusion rifle to take it out. So what we're going to do is, I would say, is just prep yourself to be able to super available so you can just take it out as you need to. The only real time you're going to be able to use it effectively is going to be on the ogres. As the barriers, it's not, it's not you know, controlled enough, I would say, and uh, or consistent enough that you can guarantee they won't put their shield up. Because once their shield's up, you're screwed. Best thing you can say is throw your grenade out, get that barrier champion frozen. Three damage, increase damage on a frozen target. Oh, shield went up. We didn't want it up. It worked. I can't even see my. Sorry, I can't. I can't reliably. <laughs> that was weird. It was weird timing where I couldn't reliably uh, count on it to freeze the barriers. I kept wanting to keep using my uh, bow. It was strange. Easy chaining damage. Trying to get our uh, swap here, bait and switch going. One shot here should be plenty. Oops. Do you want to stack up if we can? I'm gonna ice at least one icicle. Yep, perfect. Because you want to go into this next fight if you can, just freeze everything. Makes it a little easier. He's already full health, so I'm not worried about the shield. Just want to uh, get my abilities out and such. Ouch. Should be able to reliably get him. Uh... It's so weird. The barrier goes out, but doesn't fully work sometimes. A little weird, but it's all right. Find the unstoppable. I think I hit him. Looks like he's, yeah, it looks like I got him. Make sure we line up our unstop here. One more shot should be good. Oh no, he's uh, damage reduction. Here we go. Finisher, and we're in a good spot now. So we have our super. It's not the best for the boss here, which is unfortunate. I wish they had one that was like a big ice ball or something. Like, I would almost rather building a snowball and running it into for big damage or something. I don't know. Something that was uh, a little different or maybe like a really big icicle you can just shoot up. You can just charge up and sling at him. Like, it could look just like that. It'd be awesome. Or big ice lance, I guess. Like, I know the Titans have ice lance. I think you like a massive one for warlocks. It'd be cool. We're just going to throw our turrets out. Let them do whatever we can here. We don't have any super energy. 
Oh, not super energy. We don't have any heavy. But we can't reliably take out the barriers with our super, so my best bet is to just uh, find a way to slowly whittle this guy down. Blow everything up here, keep it frozen. I want him healing. It's okay. We do have plenty of ammo for our fusion, so we'll just use that up. One barrier down, there is two. And then we got some ammo, which is good. We'll throw that on boss. We just really got to get the barrier taken care of uh, whenever you get a chance, because the, the boss you can slowly take down with your. Uh, with your, honestly, with your super or anything else. Oops. Stasis, when it's on the artifact next season, it's going to be absolutely insane for warlocks. If they don't have anti-barrier, like anti-unstoppable with bows, then, or like unstoppable or something, anything, uh, it may be a little annoying for dealing with the other champions, but even even so, I think you could still... Stasis does all of them anyways. Okay, so we're going to just try something here. Uh, we're just going to launch some of these at him. Does some damage. Doesn't do anything crazy. Everything else we can use for... I can mainly use it for act control if we wanted, but it doesn't do you know, anything masterful. There, get our free abilities back with some orbs. The so turret's out. We should be able to get some shots off. We did charge up our uh, heavy here, so it will have multiple shots for us. With the reload, I'm not completely whiffed. Really, actually, really safe with uh, stasis, so it's kind of nice. Collect our loot and be on our way. The door won't open unless you kill everything, but all the champions are dead, so we're good. Nine minutes, forty-eight seconds. Give stasis a go. Definitely check out my channel for other subclass and class builds. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.